Hey guys, Zoli here. In this video I'll be talking about my Maz 543 Scott B Ballistic Missile Carrier. First things first, here's an overview of the looks and features of the vehicle. As you can see, both rows of wheels are capable of steering. The headlights have also been replaced with high intensity light bulbs for added bloom. And the rear ones, not so much. Now if we go into first person, you can see a display screen above the driver. This is the driver's gyroscope and GPS. You can activate it by holding C or whichever key you have your expressions assigned to and clicking on the on off button. Wait for it to boot up and you should have a top down GPS display as well as a real time gyroscope. The GPS is stabilized so no matter how your vehicle moves even if it's upside down the GPS will always look straight down at your vehicle. Gunner has an exact copy of these systems, with the addition of a real-time computed ballistic missile course. In other words, a line displaying the course and impact point of your ballistic missile. Now if you move around, you can see the uh, GPS moving and the gyroscope moving as well. Now you may wonder why there is a gyroscope, since this is not an air vehicle. Well. The missile is still affected by gravity, so if the vehicle is tilted to either side, the missile will deviate. The ballistic computer is not yet capable of calculating for deviation, therefore the driver has to manually align the vehicle horizontally by eliminating the left or right tilting of the vehicle in order to get an accurate missile calculation. So let's just do that. In order to conserve FPS on servers, the displays have been made to only render for the player that activated them, as well as as soon as you leave the vehicle, the display screens turn themselves off. After the vehicle has been aligned, the gunner may proceed with aiming and firing. So you press F2 to switch to the gunner seat. Once the driver leaves the vehicle, you can hear the engine shutting off. You activate it by holding C or the key that your expressions are assigned to, and clicking on the on button, and you wait for it to boot up. Once it's booted up, you can hold right mouse button to zoom in. On the left side you can see the gyroscope, and on the right side you can see the uh, ballistic aiming cone, as well as the ballistic line. As you elevate your uh, missile, your ballistic line moves around as well. Now the top of the ballistic line is going to show you where your missile is going to land. The explosion has an effective range of about 270 meters and the missile takes 30 seconds to reload. Also keep in mind that the missile can only be carried in an Alice pack. Well, that will be pretty much everything that there is to be said about the mass. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.